the title company says, in order to issue new title and to be able to not have a mark on the title, we need to be able to get another document. You need to sign another document. Now, you can imagine having to go back and wake up these ghosts of from 16 years ago. And that lender did not remember the transaction. This episode brought to you by Suites at Madison. Meeting in conference rooms for rent by the hour, week, month, or year. Suites at Madison, where business gets done. Check them out at www.downtowntampaoffice.com. Now, on to the show. You are listening to the Invest Florida Real Estate Show, covering topics in lending, buy and sell strategies, property management, hot markets, and tips and tools to guide you along the way on your path to real estate success. You want Florida investment real estate talk? You have come to the right place. And now... Our hosts, Eric Odom and Stephen Silverman. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Invest Florida Real Estate Show. This is your co-host, Eric Odom, flying solo today. You know, guys, we have not done a Lawfare podcast in some time. Um, We had a series that we were pretty diligent about staying on top of. But it kind of dropped off a little bit because we got rolling with some other guests and thought it might be a good idea for us to pick some of this back up again. Uh, We recently had an issue uh, with uh, mortgage satisfaction. And so I thought it might be good for a quick episode on mortgage satisfactions, making sure they're filed properly and whatnot. This is a horror story of something that could happen to you. Banks, hard money lenders, private lenders, institutional lenders, it doesn't really matter When you check out and receive a mortgage on a property and you pay it off, the bank or the lending institution will give you a satisfaction mortgage. They're required to do that within 60 days of payoff. That's a requirement. And there's penalties, financial penalties for them doing that. So many people are sloppy. They receive the mortgage satisfaction and they file it in their desk someplace, and that's the end of that. They don't go through the trouble of making sure that the mortgage satisfaction has been recorded to cancel out the recorded mortgage that had been filed when you you originally received the funds. We have a situation with a particular client who paid off a mortgage to a private lender 16 years ago, okay? So a lot's happened in 16 years. Uh, They've changed bank accounts. Obviously, people's memories don't last 16 years for these types of matters. And it's a problem because we track down the lender. It probably is worse when you're dealing with private lenders as opposed to dealing with financial institutions because a financial institution, uh, well, I mean, I'd take that back. I mean, a financial institution, if they don't file and they're having to look back through 16 years of documents to determine whether you actually paid or you didn't pay, that's a problem, right? Well, if the the institution gives you a document that says you paid, then if it's coming from a bank, well, that's pretty much as good as if it's word as you'll get. And you're you're probably going to have not limited amount of problems. Just go ahead and filing it and taking care of it. But we were dealing with a private lender. This is what happened in this particular instance. Mortgage was paid off. The lender supplied a satisfaction of mortgage to the borrower and he never it was never filed. So the title company, when the person who owns the property had determined he was going to sell it, The title company says, we need satisfaction. He says, okay, fine. So he looked through his records and lucky enough, he did find that document that the lender had signed, but it was not sufficient satisfaction. And therefore, the title company says, in order to issue new title and to be able to not have a mark on the title, we need to be able to get another document. You need to sign another document. Now you can imagine having to go back and wake up these ghosts of from 16 years ago. I mean, a lot's happened. 2008, there was a mortgage crash or, you know, a, a, a a financial catastrophe, really. And that lender did not remember the transaction. And so we explained it to him. He was skeptical. We sent him over the document that apparently his wife had signed. And he says, that's not his wife's signature. And in order for him to sign that document, he needs proof that the borrower paid him. How many of you folks can go back 16 years, find records of financial payment? This particular borrower did not maintain the same bank account. So he's going that bank account where he held his account was defunct. So how is he going to get records of that? Um, it's just a, it's a total nightmare. Now, if there's malicious intent on the lender, there are some penalties that they would suffer. They have 60 days 
to be able to file that document, uh, the satisfaction after it's been, and it is there, it is the lender's responsibility to do that. So in this particular case, the lender made a mistake, but the lender saying he doesn't believe that it was actually signed by, by his wife or him and that uh, he wants proof. Now, 16 years has passed. Does anybody think it's really credible that 16 years has passed and he just forgot about the 300,000 or 600,000 or million dollars or whatever he was, he was, uh, had loaned and that he'd never come back and ask for interest payments? No, this is not really plausible, but it doesn't really matter because now you have a situation where the, the borrower is trying to sell the property and you have an uncooperative lender in terms of not really wanting to sign off on it. And if it went to court, I don't know how it would turn out. Because the lender is saying that that's not his wife or his, his signature, and therefore it's not a, legi- not a legitimate satisfaction of mortgage. But this is not a situation that you want to be in. So the bottom line here is make sure that that document is being filed by the lender. It is a requirement. Now, there are some things that you can do to work around that. For example, a quiet title. You can quiet title. But essentially, it's really going to force... The issue. Let, let's talk about a quiet title. A quiet title basically puts something out into the into the ether and says that we want clear title on this property. And there's a period of time that um, will go by if someone doesn't contest it that it goes away and the title becomes clear. But essentially, it'd be hard to do because these two had already had the interaction and there was some dispute over did he pay or did he not pay. Not sure that I agree with the lender. I mean, I think that obviously you had a notarized document and not sure how that would help in court, but it doesn't really matter. But there is another option, which I talked about with a, with a, what's called a quieting a title. And you do this frequently when you're buying tax deeds. At tax deeds, you quiet the title at the end of it, which essentially is an open records period to l- allow people to contest that this is a clear title or not. And if they don't respond in a period of time, then the title becomes cl- free and clear. So there are other options here, but it still would have involved notifying this person who had the mortgage and you would have ended up in a, probably a protracted a court battle, legal battle with this individual over whether this mortgage was owed or not. Now, I don't want to throw private lenders under the bus and say they're all bad. That's not the case. We, we all rely on private lenders to get deals done in this business. And frequently we need some sort of a bridge loan to make something happen, which was the case in in this particular incident. And there was a a need for a a bridge loan and we all utilize them. But I just want to say that I've never had a bank fail and I've bought a lot of properties, never had a bank fail to file a satisfaction of mortgage. It's been more than once that I've seen private lenders fail to file satisfaction of mortgage. So I'm going to watch a little bit more carefully when dealing with private lenders to make certain that when a loan is paid off, that it's actually filed. And that's really what this all comes down to. When you're dealing with private lenders, really any any lender, but more so private than the institutional lenders and the banks. Gets paid off, make sure that the satisfaction is filed, and then you avoid all of this mess. I don't know what's going to happen on this particular deal. I'll let you guys know as we move forward how it gets resolved, but it is problematic for everybody involved in this situation. It's a lot of stress. So you can avoid it. Just make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to do in this case, filing properly the satisfaction of mortgage. Guys, as always, we appreciate the time that you invest with us each and every episode. We will be back with you next episode with a full episode, not a legal lawfare episode, but we are trying to line up more lawfare episodes in the future because it does help people understand a little bit better some of the legal jeopardy that you might fall into when you're investing in real estate. Hope you all have a terrific day and a terrific week, and we will talk with you next episode. You've just listened to the Invest Florida podcast with Eric Odom and Stephen Silverman. Join us every week for actionable real estate investment ideas. And of course, visit our website at www.investfloridashow.com for more shows and tips on how to earn a cash flow in the real estate market in Florida. While hosts and producers of the Invest Florida Show have no reason to doubt the validity of comments of our guests, we do not warranty their accuracy. Please check with your legal, financial, and tax advisors before entering into any investment. Returns will vary from person to person and deal to deal based on unique circumstances. All information expressed in this show is for educational purposes only. Opinions of the guests are not necessarily shared by the hosts and producers of the Invest Florida Show.